Okay, here we are. It is the 15th of July. We are one day out from the WNBF UK First Timers. This is my warm up show. I've pulled a little sneaky one here with Finn. We're at Nicholas House. We're doing the tanning tonight. So, this is my base coat on the first layer tomorrow morning. We'll be back here around what, 5 o'clock in the morning ish? Yeah, 5.15. 5.15. Uh, then we'll be heading. One day out. You're about 14 hours out, mate. Yeah, we're very, very close. It's very exciting. Finn competed today. He won tall class. Tall class. Really Hit cool. him. Look at Put it down there. This is not fun. Point is Bobby. I need my Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Bobby. Bobby. Bobby is the words. But no, yeah, I'm really, really excited. This is like surreal. It's been like, oh, I'm, like, I'm a week out, I'm a week out. I'm five days out, I'm three days out. I am like 14 hours out. As you're saying, it's pretty much go to bed, wake up, crack on, and by the time I know, I'll be on the stage. So, yeah, extremely, extremely exciting. Come back here for our top coat tomorrow morning. Set off, it's in Camberley, so down near London area. We're in Loughborough just now. It's what, two hour driver. So, get registered before 8 a.m and then we'll kind of catch you guys there. Is there anything you want to say? No, he's, he's been spot on. He's ready very early, hence the very early warm-up show. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, he's he's in a fantastic position. Very excited to see him on stage tomorrow. And then on to the, uh, the main shows after this. Yeah, so I've still got, what, six weeks until my first show. So this is very much a warm-up show. This is not like a, a finalised one. And again, I've kept this secret. Hopefully no one has caught on. People have probably caught People on. People have caught on. Yeah, yeah, they have. I've tried to say that I'm down here to you're watch too Douglas. You're to just not compete. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are like, you're going to throw the trunks on tomorrow, maybe. Um, but yeah, pretty much played it as if I'm down to watch Finn and watch Douglas. People probably know. But here to compete for this weekend. And yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow morning, I believe. That's the next time that we'll be talking to the camera hopefully Sam put some like wee photos and videos of me just now tonight and then we'll get some more in the morning as well but yeah see you all then have a good one to get my wee cock sock for my tanning, open my bag up and my cell detection card powder has burst all over the bag, it's opened up um, and it's over everything, so brilliant start to the day, yeah. um, excited, had a good sleep, spot on to be honest, just used the, the fan in that Airbnb and brilliant sleep, it was actually amazing, the bed isn't too marked either, obviously I've got all this tan on, I was shitting myself that I'd wake up and the bed would be like completely brown, but it's not bad, so yeah, everything's good. Get some content, film me with my wee top self on. We'll see you soon. Last night, final meal was pro fat. So literally just weigh in almonds as little volume as possible. We drank 10 litres of water yesterday before 6 p.m. And then for the rest of the night, 500 ml on that except in each meal yesterday, I had a thousand milligrams of vitamin C and I also had double the caffeine that we usually have. So this is to promote diuresis, pretty much to help me pee out all of my fluid and wake up nice and dry this morning. We also continue that process today because there's still a little bit of water on me. It's the same as last time when we peaked. Pretty much today, better caffeine, um, less water, as least, as least amount of volume as possible in my stomach in terms of food and water in general. So making sure that my pee isn't too dark so that I'm actually hydrated but there's not too much kind of excess fluid in my body like that was the whole point of drinking a lot more water yesterday to try and pee out for the rest of last night and today so yeah um, it's been good got away and almonds just now and then for the pre-show meal I'll have a full size bagel a thin bagel with um, Nutella and jam so I'm looking forward to that but yeah that's that for now We have made it here, Camberley. Yeah. It is quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. I was going to check my watch there, but I don't have a watch on. Um, quarter to eight. Going into register just now. It's been good this morning. Pretty much stress free. No real issues. Had my kind of monster. Peed a nice, a nice clear pee, which is a good. That's a good sign that I'm still hydrated. Still be able to get a good pump. Don't want to drink too much water as I was saying earlier on because we don't want to get bloated or anything too watery. So everything's going to plan. We'll just get there. Go through some rounds, don't the car. Go through some rounds with Finn. 
um, he can have a wee look and kind of assess how I'm looking and then it's just a case of chilling out with feet up then I'll be on around half ten I'm the third class in so I thought initially I was going to be the first class a bit nervy but the fact that there's going to be more people there before me and I'll be um, a couple classes in and it won't be the kind of start of the show it's quite nice I prefer that so yeah I'm excited and we'll give you a wee update when we're in there let's do it Right, so time is half eight pretty much. I'll be finishing my pre-stage meal at half nine. Then I think the pump product, so I'll be putting in about 15 grams of pump product and some salt, some just to get some like kind of hydration to allow the blood flow to get a better pump um, for when I'm going on stage. So that'll be about around quarter past ten-ish. Then we'll start pumping up. Well, that'll be about ten that I actually drink it. Then we'll start pumping up at about quarter past ten till maybe 25 past and I'll be on stage at half 10 so yeah I'm excited, a little bit nervous but that is as that kind of comes with it doesn't it so yeah I'm excited just chilling just now literally just sitting here bag under my legs feet up pretty much just chilling out so yeah we're going to get out of the venue soon see backstage kind of get comfortable and then it'll be go time so yeah see you then see you then right so pump three or Pre, pre stage um, shaker is done, that's it ready. We've got full pump, so CMP full pump in here, pre, uh, pump pre product. We've got creatine, we've got salt, all of this just to, to help with me getting a pump and taurine as well to prevent cramping too. So, CNP use code was it Fin15? Fin15, Fin 15, yeah. 15, brilliant. Um, but yeah, we've got everything ready to go. Pre meal is ready to go as well, so I'm going to start sipping on this as I'm eating my pre meal. I'm going to put a little bit more water in it so I can just kind of have it throughout that meal, stay hydrated, and then start to pump up from there. But yeah, it's getting exciting. What, an hour and a half out? Two, two hours out maybe? I don't know. Whatever, yeah, I think an hour 45, so exciting stuff. But yeah, stuff. place baby easy as that um no it was not easy actually it was pretty rough like on stage how long would you say it felt like forever but maybe 20 minutes, 20 minutes yeah there was eight people in the class which was a lot more than i thought i thought it was going to be like three four people teens isn't usually very busy i don't know if that's considered like a busy class but eight people is quite a lot um so yeah it was nerve-wracking going into it sending pumping up at the back i think you got some content or some some shots of it didn't you of course you did genius um but no it was really good very nerve-wracking again they were calling the numbers i was like ah shit 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 cool that's fine um and, and then eventually first place number four josh campbell number four number four josh campbell so i've got my wee first place medal and i believe this will be my invite to the finals in october and then if i win that for team bodybuilding i get invited to la for the world championships so we should see that's 14 weeks away but yeah pull the wee a wee sneaky one as i was saying at the start 
really fucking happy I did. It's been amazing, it's a really good experience. Now, time to chill, eat my food, nothing changes. I don't eat a pizza, I don't do this, this and that. Um, we've got the overall later on. Towards, we say, like, uh, I can't think, my mind's all over the place. Um, but I am getting a Nando's, to be fair. It's not anything crazy, it's literally just chicken garlic breads and chips so yeah I'm gonna get that that's like a 1500 calorie meal that will just replace one of my other meals so yeah that's everything but let's fucking have it brilliant we'll get some more content but it's a big part done it's a big part done right let's have it so class one of course we are now planning for the overall so that is when the winner from each class goes into the one like competition and whoever is the best out of all them win. Now, as Finn was saying on, on his video, so go watch that, um, as he was saying, like, if we're up against some really, really big guys, then I will need to be a little bit bigger, a little bit fuller, so we can play around with, like, jam, honey, um, just, like, easy carb sources, just get them, and it's going to be low volume, nice and easy to eat, fill me up a little bit. If not, if there's some really lean guys and we don't need to kind of fill up as much, we can still play the condition cards. Right now, I've prepped my meal for about 3 p.m., so I came off at about 11 then um, overall it's going to be pretty late because the show's running like back, it's kind of backlogged a little bit so it's going to be quite late on so I've got this meal which is 35 grams of whey which is my new whey so this is the way that they give you like if you win your class I've actually wanted it for a while um, it's the sticky toffee pudding one and I've been needing new protein powder so, so that's, a, that's a win um, but this 35 grams of whey then 25 grams of almonds is my meal and that's going to be consumed at around 3pm or so Overalls, what time do you reckon roughly? It's going to be late. It's going to be a long day. It's a very busy show, and they're very they're running things very slowly. I think the overall will likely be, if I'm optimistic, I'd say 7 p.m. If I'm realistic, I'd say 9. Yeah. So that's the plan. It means that no kind of no big volumey meals like between there. Like I'm staying nice and tight and chilling out. Um, gonna, I've got this bag here, which I'm pretty much just putting my legs upon and keeping them nice and chilled out. I don't want to walk around too much, like, kind of exert myself too much, just chill out as much as I can, eat my meals. My pre-stage meal is going to be pretty much the same again, same macros. I don't have my bagels here because that was what I had before. I've got pancakes, I've got bananas and I've got jam. I've also got my protein, I've got my almonds, so those are going to be my carb sources, my fat sources, my protein sources. Pre-meal will be 100 grams of carbs, 35 grams of protein and I think it's like 10 to 15 grams of fat I'm not too sure I'll obviously plan it out in a wee second but that's the plan going forward chill out for the rest of the day yeah let's have it right what time are we on Will? Uh, it's half five should be on I reckon in about an hour and a half mm, that would be ideal so it's half five just now we are eating this will be my fourth meal now I usually eat four meals in a day um, but I've got five today just because we were up a lot earlier and then just trying to keep um, my body kind of ticking over until this kind of higher carb meal for the show. So this is the final um, class of like the actual show itself before going into all the overalls. So there's the golden era overall. Will was telling me that to take someone that's like the most classic from each class and then make it a golden overall from this weird, but I don't just do an actual classic um, class. But there's that, then there's the female one, there's another one, I don't understand, I've not read through it all, I just know that I'm last, um, and I'll be on hopefully around an hour and a half, two hours, um, I'll have my next meal after that, which will be a full pack of pancakes, 55 grams of jam, 25 grams of whey, and 25 grams of almonds, so that comes to 100 carb, 35 protein, and 25 fat, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I thought it was a little bit less fat, a little bit more fat, uh, fat, sorry, we're going through the back. I'm a lot more confident this time. I know what's like gonna gonna go on in stage. I know what to do when pumping up. I know that the, the dumbbells that we've got are too light and it works better with the bands. Just standing wider on it and providing more tension in that kind of shortened position, doing your curls, your lateral raises, and that gets me a better pump. So yeah, I'm confident it'll be good. I don't expect to win this. Um, there's gonna be some some big boys up there because it's obviously like the full grown men and everything, but. Yeah, it'll be good. I'm excited for it. And I'll probably see you next time when I'm devouring a pancake. Mm. We're rolling. So, three stage meal, round two. We're back for the overall. So again, all the classes come together. You can pit against each other to see who's the best bodybuilder in general. So, pre meal, um, similar macros to last time, as I was saying. This is a nice one. Six pancakes, 55 grams of jam, 25 grams of almonds, Got my pump free as well, so same as last time. Um, 15 grams of full pump CMP, 
Then we've got taurine, we've got salt, and we've got creatine in there. Then 35 grams, no, 25 grams of whey as well. So I'm going to enjoy this. This is going to be good. Then we should be on in about an hour's time. Start getting pumped up around 8 o'clock or so. It was running late, but it's running a little bit quicker now because they realised they were so late. So that'll be good. Fancy my chances, to be fair. I think we will see. But yeah, let's have it. Cause some damage. and photos with all the people and everything, so... Right. Yeah, I get to keep the sword. This is coming home with me, it's five foot tall. Look the height of it. Yeah, this is mine now. I've won the sword, I've won the show. That is what Finn was saying. Uh, right, um, right, I will go get photos. Right, I love you, bye-bye. Um, so, yeah. I done it. The overall, I took the men's bodybuilding, like kind of entire show type thing, if you can call it that. A big five foot sword, 
No, yeah, five foot swords. Um, I'm over the moon. I might not sound it because I'm absolutely defeated from all the posing and everything. But yeah, I'm really, really happy. The guy that was next to me was absolutely massive, like genuinely huge. He was sitting pumping up like half an hour before we went out, and I was terrified of him. And I was like, ah, ah. Well, I, was, I was actually talking to that guy he back. Had a plus yeah, he was massive. Like, even he had, I think he had pretty good shape as well. Like, Very he good. he was lean. So I was like, nah, this is just like the guy backstage me literally said, this is just the DLC. He was like, oh, we've won our classes. Let's go have some fun. And I was like, ah, let's do it. And then I went out, and I was gonna just like go through my pose and like again have fun with it. But then I heard Finn just go like, this is yours or something. You said, switch on like all the pose and try to keep it as best as possible. Um, switch everything on, glutes, hamstrings was probably better than the first time posing wise. Yeah, so yeah I was, and yeah, and I was like pumped up a lot more. Like the the pancakes and jam that that meal was anabolic when all that for next time. But yeah, really really good. Happy with the, the look even after it. Got some photos with the swords and then out there as well. And we're really happy with everything. So now I've had a couple nibbles of the the buena tela, as I would say. Uh, the cookie, I'll show you. But it's kind of mid. It's not that good. I think I need to heat it up in the microwave. So I'm going to have my Nando's that we're going to get soon. Just going to pick it up and I'll scan it in the car. Then this, I will eat a little bit more of it when it's microwave later on. And I got the audio one as well, which I will try too. But yeah, like not to like brag and shit, but this is pretty much unheard of, I think. Um, I've seen one in the, the whole show itself the overall. So to do this in the warm up when I'm not even ready. No, I'm re not ready. Yeah. Debatable considering I won this. But yeah, um, that's it. I don't know if that's the end of the video, but that's a fucking good way to end it. So, yeah, um, like, subscribe, you know what to do. This is a good video. Please watch it. I can't, there's no point in saying that now, is there? Um, please watch it. It's like 20 minutes in. Um, if you're going to watch one video, I hope it was this one, because it's a big thing to me. Obviously, my first show, and this could be, as I was saying to Sam as well, this could be my career. And to have this documented and have a YouTube video on it on such a special day is really, really good. And it's surreal, as I was saying on stage when I get interviewed. So, yeah, really happy with everything. And... Good night all, goodbye.